Hey guys, Brittany here with Natural State Pest Control and this is our brand new Spotlight series where we go to really cool local businesses and take a look around on the inside, kind of give you a behind the scenes look. And today we are at 52 Kilo in Rogers. So let's go in and check it out. Let's go. That's perfect. Tell us about 52 Kilo. Well, we're a Wagyu steakhouse um, specializing in mezcal, trying to serve some finer wines with it. But essentially, we wanted to introduce uh, Wagyu to the area. So what makes Wagyu different? A lot more intermuscular uh, fat. Uh, so essentially, instead of having a big slab of fat on the outside or a couple slicing through it, uh, it's, it's interspersed in there and it just really melts in, in your mouth. When did you guys open? I know you guys are a fairly new business. Uh, we opened in April of 2022. What are your hours of operation right now in your days? Thursday through Saturday, uh, 9 to 10, except on Thursday we close at 9, sorry, 5 to 10. Five to, I was yeah. going to say there's a short window. <laughs> Better get in here. Get in quick. <laughs> Where did the inspiration for the restaurant come from? Essentially, my wife wanted to showcase new flavors to the area. My wife's the chef, uh, Very full disclosure. Cool. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of Wagyu around, so we decided to showcase it. We painted the walls, we did the floors, we had this mural done. Uh, the mural on the ceiling is fantastic. Oh, thank so you. A good friend of ours did that. And we found out later that all of the constellations were accurate to the sky while he was painting them. So what is your personal favorite thing on the menu? Oh, I gotta go with the uh, Australian Wagyu. So a lot of people think it's gonna be the Japanese and that's an experience. If you've never had it, you know, start with the Japanese, but the Australian's like a really good mix between, you know, that meaty steak you're used to and that melt on your mouth, you know, feel that you get from the Japanese. And what about your drink menu? I know you are doing mezcals, like is, how many different drink varieties do you have? Oh gosh, for mezcal, I mean, we carry, I think every mezcal we're legally allowed to carry in the state. Uh, and then we try to make a cocktail with most of them. And then we do flights of mezcals. Uh, we do classic cocktails with mezcals. We try to, again, introduce the flavors that people aren't used to. Uh, so ton, tons of options with the mezcal. And then you guys also serve wine, correct? Is it? Um... Yeah, yeah, we have a pretty good wine list. We worked with King James Wine over in Bentonville. They helped us curate our list and uh, it's just really fantastic. And then we're starting to carry some bourbons and a few rums. We're, we're gonna slowly build out our bar as we find the bottles we really want to carry. Do you guys currently serve dessert? Yes, it's usually a chocolate caramel tart, which is gluten-free. Got a chocolate crust with a caramel, al almond caramel in the middle, chocolate ganache, vanilla whipped cream on top, which is with raspberries. That sounds delicious. It's pretty good. It's hard to get rid of, but she also introduces something new usually every week. So, so your desserts flavor. are rotating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Does your menu rotate seasonally as well, or do you kind of have just a main staple? No, it absolutely rotates. I mean, getting beef from Japan is pretty difficult. So we, we pretty much get what we can and, and we work with it. Uh, we're really lucky we get some of the, the highest quality stuff. So really high end meats, really high end food and drinks is what you guys kind of specialize in. Yeah, yeah, we want to make it a real special experience. If you want to have, you know, a, a wedding anniversary or something, we have a lot of those. In there. Yeah, yeah, we, we try to get the best that you know, is possible. If there's one thing that you want people to know about your business. What would you say that one thing is if they didn't know anything about it? Oh gosh, I mean, it's fun. People come in here and have a great time. I mean, you expect it to be kind of upscale and snobby maybe, but our servers are just in here just laughing with people and having a great time. We, just, we come out here and have fun with everybody. Or what's the best way if somebody wanted to dine with you guys? Sure, yeah, 52kilo.com. Uh, spell out F-I-F-T-Y and then the number two and then Kilo. Uh, and there's a reservation system through there. It's got pictures of our menus, got the updated menu on it. Uh, it's probably the best place. Facebook, we try to keep updated as well. So everybody should follow you guys on social media. Go check out your website and come in and try the food. Yeah, that'd be great. Fantastic.